Five years ago, I joined Dr. Linda Broom in Kosciuszko National Park to find out about the mountain pygmy possum, a threatened species she's been working to save for over 25 years. That was during a major drought and possum numbers were alarmingly low. Now in 2012, after plenty of rain, I'm rejoining Linda to find out about the possum's progress. Also working with Linda is a student all the way from China, Hai Jing, and she's writing a PhD about the possums. We're on Snow Ridge near Cabramara. We're a couple of kilometres out of Cabramara. And this is a huge basalt boulder field on top of the hill that we didn't know existed until two years ago. We did trap it last October. And this site, um, we got 92, 92 possums, which is the highest numbers we've ever caught on any of the sites in Kosciuszko National Park. By 2008 at Mount Bukow, we'd got down to one female possum. Yeah, and it was really very worrying and at Charlotte Pass the numbers had dropped by 30% as well. The numbers at the southern sites just in the last year, last November, had picked up again after the drought following the two years of rain, which was, which was a great relief, but it just shows how susceptible they are to, to drought and prolonged dry periods. The mountain pygmy possum is very a quite endangered animal. It's similar to the Chinese giant panda, so it's quite interesting. I'm really enjoying my study. So with the traps all set, we'll return in the morning to hopefully find and examine some healthy possums. Oh look, it's a nice morning. Yeah, it's not that cold. We, no, it's, it's quite good. Let's see how many possums we've got today. Yeah. Sleepy. After this last year, um, I was getting really worried and we've started looking into doing a captive breeding program, which we'll still do, um, because the prognosis is that we're going to get more of these extended drought periods. And if I'd seen this area 25 years ago, I would have said, yes, there's a possibility of possums being here. There's always something new to find and it just goes to show you that you should never stop looking. These animals are so precious. Look at this rough, rocky habitat, and you've got this gorgeous little creature that lives here and is so well adapted to the alpine environment. And I never cease to, to marvel at them every time I trap them. <laughs>